Hello, Cheap Trick Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me, Blue Angulo. In the last episode, we pulled some tricky, tricky, tricky tricks to win the German mission, which I think was pretty good. The uh, personal wealth valuation or hey, personal wealth goals are always a bit of a pain. In your head there, buddy. So, uh, you want. If display case, it'll help yeah, yeah, we know the drill by now. So anyway, uh, yeah. I think uh, we got a gold there, so I'm feeling like it's ready to go to the next time. This time, I look. At, I think it's on the British Isles. In 1860, Britain's worldwide empire was well underway. However, the infrastructure on the island itself was not up to the task of fueling the world's first industrialized nation. No town in Scotland was in greater need of speed records than Edinburgh. Now, this was no easy task because laying the track was only one half of the job. This line needed to become the essence of British railway engineering, speed and efficiency. Uh oh. Now, think you know what it takes to make this kind of thing happen? Alright, folks, so here we are. Flying Scotsman. Definitely on the British Isles this time. So, the Flying Scotsman, leaving from a platform number 10, King's Cross to Edinburgh, all aboard. Daily departures 10 a.m. since July or June 1862. During its reign, it was the peak of British engineering style and efficiency. At least, that's the way things turned out. However, there was nothing certain about this route when it was first made. Your job is to make a legend in the railroad industry. The Queen has entrusted you to make this railway a reality. You must conduct the industrial centre of Scotland to the centre of the British Empire's industrial might, with a railway that will, get, that will set a standard of operations that will be the envy of the world. All right, the bronze is pretty easy. Connect Edinburgh, or Edinburgh, however you want to say it, to London uh, by the end of 1865. 25 years to connect London to Edinburgh, no big deal. Silver, also maintain a lifetime average of 12 miles an hour per, uh, 12 miles an hour faster for all speed. So this time we are gonna have to pay a bit of attention on which trains or which engines we use and what kind of, uh, uh, routes through mountains and stuff we do is a little bit more important. We don't want a lot of steep hills, we don't want a lot of tight corners, we don't want to lose stupid uh, engines. We also have to keep like, the number of cars fairly low. Uh, eight car trains might not work. And then to get gold, uh, we just have to put everyone else out of business. So whatever AI comes in, no big deal. <laughs> the last time I saw that I forgot about that, but this time we should be okay. Okay, it also lets me have unconnected track for the first time at least. So that's nice. I could actually make uh, separate bits of track wherever I want to, which is actually possibly good. I still need to connect Edinburgh to London, but I could, you know, put a couple uh, Irish routes up there if I feel like it. So, this is our map. It doesn't quite show all of Ireland, I suppose, but it does have at least the, uh, the east side of it. Um, anyway, there's Edinburgh up here. We're probably not going to do anything else with uh, sort of northern Scotland or even the majority of Scotland because it's really, really mountainous and uh, that'll really mess up our speed. So instead of that, we'll be spending a lot of our time connecting up down here in the relative flatlands of, uh, of Britain, basically. So um, obviously London is going to be key, so we'll probably start in London. Um, we do need a, a route that goes directly up to Edinburgh at some time, so you want to sort of start planning that out a little bit. I imagine we'll want it to go... Well, let's see. London's right by the river. The Thames. I think it's how you pronounce that. Maybe it is Thames, I don't know. Um, it'll probably be fairly straight north. This is all nice and flat. So we could make it all the way up here to say Kingston-ish. And as long as I'm a little bit careful around these little hills, I can get it. Well, I mean, Scarborough is a little bit tricky to get to. I don't know, we'll worry about that later. The point is we just got to try to keep our, uh, our overall speed good. Okay, so speaking of that, I think we're going to be doing Portsmouth to uh, London first. And that's the only one that really makes a huge amount of sense. Uh, we won't have to make a bridge for it. Um, should make some good money, and we'll just connect up most of South, uh, Southern Britain. Just gonna be a little bit more careful with, with, uh, with, uh, 
kills and stuff than usual. All right, anyway, starter comes. Let's get to it. Oops. <laughs> Too many clicking. All right, so company name. Um, four quarters. Yeah. We'll go. Uh, uh, we'll go. What's a good name? The uh, Speedy Blue. Something like that. It's not a great name, but uh, my imagination will wear thin this war thin that time. Um, is there any good, like, British looking logos this time? Hmm. I don't know. I do that. I almost always use the little star. Hmm. Torch. Arrows. None of these are really. I mean, that looks kind of fast. It looks almost like a, a, a hare or a rabbit going quickly. You know, let's go with that. Okay. And I suppose quickly I should reset my name as well. Okay. George Hudson Pish. Pish. It's blue Ankylo time. Okay. Good to go. I think I spelled that right. I just did all with left hand. <laughs> um, also, the picture. Oops. No, no, no. No, no, no. That guy looks like he just got out of bed. <laughs> um, eh, that guy looks alright. We'll go with that one today. So we start with 2,000 shares in Speedy Blue. You can read all about the guy if you want. Or his uh, competition if you're interested. Uh oh, Premier of Wa Western Australia. What are you doing up here? Oh, in 1905. He started out as... as uh, as a British? I don't know. I don't know why he's here in Great Britain in 1840. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's get this going. One thing to look at, well, I want to look at the trains because we're going to be a little bit careful with uh, which engines we use. Alright, is it completely straight here? Not completely. So, we want as straight and flat as possible. I think I can fit one like this. Can I? No, 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 I don't want... What are we doing here? That is not the way I want it to start. I want vertical. There we go. Alright, just had a little bit of a hard time there. So I think... Like I was saying, I'm just going to be a little bit more pickier with my... Uh, rails than normal. We could go straight through. It's not that big a hill. I mean, you have to balance hill with, uh... Why is there yellow right here? Hill with turns. Can you explain this little yellow bit to me? I guess it's uphill just a teeny tiny bit. Hmm. I could go around it. I could have, like, a, a east-west route that goes through Portsmouth. Kind of like that. No, well, not that easy. This little bit can't actually build track through some of that. Well, still have to go over that hill though. Stupid hill. I'm probably messing around. And it's nothing to worry about, really. It's probably not steep enough for me to really be bothering about it. Do I go this way? Well, that will lead to Dorchester at some point. Mm, nah, I just don't like that. We're going to go straight up the middle. And we're just going to have to... We're just going to live with a little bit of, uh, of hill. And that'll just have to do. We don't want any massive turns. Something like this should be good. And then straight-ish to London. Um... I think what I'll be doing for London is going in kind of from the south, and then I will build a bridge across there maybe later, like if I could just put uh, some track down like this, leave enough room to make a bridge later, so I'll just go like that, and then I will make a nice stone bridge later on to go north when I've got more money. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It does make sense to go with a large station for London, at least. Shoot, I still can't hit those big warehouses on the other side. 
You know what? We're gonna we're probably gonna take some loans anyway. There's some bonds. I'm gonna start with well one, I guess. Shoot. Money's a little bit tighter, huh? We'll be going Cambridge from north, I think. Oh well, I just wanna see how close I can make that station. Still can't make it up here. Oh well. Could have maybe positioned the track somewhere more useful to get those extra ones up there. You know what? Maybe we'll just start with normal sized. We know that a large will fit here, according to that. So if I put a medium, it should be able to upgrade later on. If I want to. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So we'll just start here. I'll miss out on some of the houses and stuff, and then we can upgrade it later. Nah, that'll do. I wanted to connect up the warehouses and the museum and stuff. Ah, that's dumb. Stupid auto-setting position stuff. Alright, there you go. Guilford, I think you just get a small for now. Hopefully that'll let me put a... <laughs> I'll, it'll, hopefully it'll let me upgrade it to medium once the city starts to grow a little bit. I think if I build it down this way a little bit... It should have lots to grow over here. Lots of room to grow. And Portsmouth probably does deserve a medium. Although this one might be difficult to upgrade to large, but... At least it lets us get the port. It is Portsmouth. Port Portsmouth! Okay, uh, we'll put service towers in in a minute. Let's add. Let's see what our trains are. We got Adler and a Planet. They are not very fast. Um, in fact, they're very. I guess we're just gonna go with the Planet because it's better than atrocious fuel. And uh, sorry, not the Planet. The Adler. And the Adler is slightly faster. I think I'm gonna limit it to like four cars though, instead of my usual eight. It's just not very good at carrying lots. We'll probably be switching to a new. Uh, a new train before too long. So we'll go the sort of standard stuff here. Four cars actually, this will make it quicker to set up routes. And uh, I will need to create... I think what I'll do is I'll put uh, the service tower over here by London. It's far more likely I'll want routes from London than Guildford. Probably. I don't know how I want to connect everything up yet. I don't want to get too close to the station. Put it like right around here. Close enough I can still turn there if I need to. Alright, one train. Looks like I might have enough money to make one more route. I did build this bridge. You know what? I wonder if... You know what? Let's get that down there right now. Because I am going to want this route later on. And uh, I'll give it a little station. And I'll even give it a train. There we go, and then we'll let it uh, get to the maintenance, use the Adler again, and I suppose, seeing as I already did that, I'll double up the maintenance to the station a bit. There you go. Okay, well that gives us, you know, four connection cities already, right off with our first starting money. Let's see how it works. Hmm, I'm not going to worry about stock too much. We've got two competition. We'll see where they start their uh, businesses. So where's our stations? Alright, this guy's that's off to a good start. We got passengers, passengers, and mail. So that's pretty cool. 150k. I have a feeling he'd use more if he uh, had more cars. But I'm just not going to let him. I wonder if I should add more trains because I want to keep them... You know what, actually? Hold on. Because the priority is speed here, more so than usual, I'm going to change this. This guy's going to be Portsmouth and Guildford. Guildford! That's that's the new name. That'll be all it does. And then this one will just be those two. Yeah, actually I think that's a good idea. London, Guildford. Good. Alright, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Because that way you won't have to have... Uh, it'll get more goods back and forth and I won't have to worry about having lots of cars. So we're going to do a little bit more trains than normal, but less, uh, uh, you know, other stuff. You know, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. It does mean we'll need a maintenance down here, though. Alright, good enough. Spent all my money again. 
All right. The board of directors feels that blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Who cares about those guys, right? We've got three trains that all looks like they're making some money off the start. I guess I will want a little bit of double track in here again. Just for the... When there's two, two trains there. Alright, new train already. That's cheap. Barely took a, like six months and we got smarter trains already. I hate you, game. Alright, hold on, hold on. New Zealand. An official British colony. Weapon prices drop because there's less war. And dockers recommend more fruit. Cool. Uh, so what I guess what I should do is probably upgrade to the Firefly. The good thing was the Adler was very cheap. Um, the Firefly is going to be better by a lot. Oh yeah, much, much better. In fact, I don't even mind putting on like five or six cars on those. Alright, well, such is my la lot. We're going to upgrade all the trains already. I want to upgrade all Adlers to Fireflies. And that's just what I'm going to do. Spend all my money already. And I think I will allow them... Let's see, what was the speed? 58... It's not even too bad on a bit of grade, but most of my routes are like very low grade anyway. How much does it lose if it's got like 2%? Not much. I think we're going to let it go to 5 or 6 cars. 6 cars is not too much of a de decrease. So in fact, we're going to do that. Well, so much for my plan early on. Of uh, buying lots of trains and then uh, not having lots of cars. That was focused around the Adler. And I didn't remember that I was going to get the Firefly in a, a few minutes. <laughs> now this doesn't look good. I don't like the looks of this guy. Why don't you have any goods with you? I mean, it's nice that you're going quick here, but... You better pick up some stuff here. Okay. Produce, passengers, and some mail. Alright, well... It's going to make a bit of money. I mean, they're all short routes, so I suppose making 50 or 60 every time isn't too bad. I think I'll pay off my loan next. My bond. It's got a pretty nasty rate, so. All right, the enemy has arrived. We have a bath to Gloucester. Gloucester, I hate that word. And we got a uh, London Zephyr already with a nice speed. That's fine. I guess the AI was smart and they just waited till the uh, Firefly was released. Alright, 23 miles an hour is not too horrible. What we really need is trains with good, uh... And they put two trains on that route right off the bat. Maybe that's why the AI doesn't make much money. Like, look at that. 2,000 for that. Just a little bit more for that one. But it, it started with double trains on just a small route. Anyway, that's one AI, and the other AI is Liverpool to Manchester. They also did two trains going back and forth. I think the AI must overtrain their routes. Like, that's a large station. They didn't need a large station there. Two large stations, two trains, just going back and forth. I, I think they wasted a lot of money. It's barely worth... Like, the goods just don't come in that quickly. Silly AI. Alright, so anyway, that doesn't change any of my near plans. We're still going to connect up sort of around London first. Um, I think I can pay that loan off right away, actually. Bam, no loans. It's good. Our credit rating is horrible anyway, so we gotta just make a little bit of money. Hopefully these uh, these trains can do it for us. Ugh, 10k. The first couple were not bad, but now they're dwindling. 10,000, 22,000. It's better than the AI, but uh, it's not great. Come on, I gotta have some money by the end of the year. Come on, train. Don't leave me in debt. There we go. Not in debt at the end of the year. Well, I guess we'll see what it says. I did pay off that loan, so I must be making some money. But it's not going to be very steady. Speedy blue stock, spit for two for one. All right. Financial markets are happy. I mean, that's pretty good. If you can get a stock split on your first year, can't complain about that, I guess. New cult leader, end of the world? <laughs> they always say that. No other newspapers, of course not. Um, so there's the end of the year. Alright, we got a 4,000 raise, that's pretty good. 
I mean, that's a lot of money on our first year. I don't think it's going to be nearly as good on the second year, though, unless I open some new routes, because uh, and that would be nice. If we could start out at 700k a year, we'd be laughing, but I don't think it'll happen. Uh, definitely better than the AI, anyway. Yeah, no big deal. Okay. I could look at stock stuff a little bit, but it's not a huge problem. I'll buy a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just buy the one. I'm not gonna go too crazy this time. Alright, how is my interest? Double B, so... 11 it's just the same as the bond I paid off. I thought I'd have a better credit rating this year. Well, let's just save up a little bit of money. Try to find a cheap route. It might be cheap to get to Norwich, actually. Looks like we could get there pretty easily. It's not very valuable, but I could do it. Or I could try to go London to Canterbury. You know, that's probably smarter. Well, it's still a teeny tiny town, but at least London, you know, it's one side will be big compared to the other. How much would it cost? Let's share that maintenance thing. It's a little bit of an extra route down. It's a little bit hard to, to see where this is going to go. Um, I don't really want to go s for that far south. There we go, that's better. Still not all that cheap. Yeah, that'll work. It's not like super direct, but uh, there you go. I get to build it without having to use any uh, loans. Oh, I missed that building. Oops. Should have been a little bit more careful. Okay. Yeah, I don't have I don't have to build I don't have to buy hardly anything for it. Just a train and then we're good to go. All right. To give it its own firefly, it's probably overkill, but uh, it'll be quick at least. We want lots of quick routes. We do need more acceleration for these little ones. Oh wait, did they already connect that up? Wow, those guys are growing like crazy. All right, famine means food prices are super expensive. All right. Okay, hold, well, I mean, okay, that year went really quick. I should have looked around a little bit more. Still making money? Yeah, I figured it would dip down quite a lot after that first route. That first, the first year. So there. Kind of stupid route is that? This giant wooden bridge? I don't know what the heck they're doing here. Are they like teaming up together? Huh. Well, all right, we'll deal with those guys hopefully before too long. Neither of them stalk me. Mine's already split. Theirs are still like the same as mine after mine was already split once, so. I'm trying to buy into my my uh, company too. All right, well, let's, let's think about this. This year, what do I want to do? Triple B, a little bit smarter. Um, could do London to Ipswich. I, like, I, like, I just like having everything go through London. <laughs> London does have the uh, the most stuff of all of my other towns. Maybe Brighton. We could get to Brighton pretty easily. Save up a little bit of money, we'll try to get to Brighton. Alright, the famine of Europe has made shipping food quite profitable. Should we be nice or should we make money off of food? Increase public support of railway. Yep, let's do it. It's uh, we saw we saw earlier that the price of food went up 50%. Let's lower the our price of shipping food to so it's really cheap, and uh, people will love us. Railway passenger railway swamped passengers up 75%. Yeah, people are gonna love our tracks. And they're gonna use it for everything. Yep, look at us offering aid to famine torn Europe. Blue Ankylo, chairman of the Speedy Blue, has drawn to the favorable attention of the Crown after announcing 50% lower shipping costs for food. That counts probably fruit and uh, maybe meat, maybe sheep. I don't know. It might be only like edible foods, whatever. It's going to lose us a little bit of profit on, you know, some of the some of the cars, but we ship lots of other stuff and lots of people, and that's that's where our money is going to be. I think it's going to be people. Alcohol. I wonder if that counts as food. I don't know. All right, money's coming in. How's our company? Triple B. Maybe if we can get to triple. Maybe we can get to A rating. I'll add. Uh, I'll add a loan in here. Okay, there was a good one. 
Train one to Guilford. That was making a lot of money. Portsmouth is growing. All right, so we want... I think I'm just going to double up the London route again. Triple up now, technically. Maybe we'll share this little bit here and then head south. Every, all, all trains go through London. All tracks, all tracks lead through London. That's a rule. It's probably not a bad idea, though, to be honest. Okay, Brighton only needs a small one. Has to be down here or else it's not technically connected, oddly enough. Also, I need a little bit of money. Of course I do. Come on, trains. Give me a little bit of money. Liverpool and Manchester's connected. Wow, they are building. I've never seen the AI in this let's in this walkthrough, uh, this playthrough, connect this aggressively. They are like just monsters. It's only been a couple years and they are just building everywhere. Where are they getting all the money for that stuff? Because they waste so much with their large stations and all that. And still, whatever. Okay, uh, again, I'll let them carry six. And we'll use the fire. Oh, the bottom one's already gone, so that's why there's only two. They disappear after a while. Did I correctly set the Canterbury line to six? I did not. There we go. No big deal, probably. Okay, let's continue on. Still only triple B rating. Oh, I should um, should double a little bit more track here. As soon as I have some more money. At least up to where the split is. Okay, we'll just speed on through, I think. Yeah, like, come on, guys. Don't stop there. You'll be fine. There we go. I think, I think that'll work. Although this train seems to be just sitting there. <laughs> that, that was bad timing on my part, I'll admit it. Alright, you guys figure yourselves out quickly, please. You're adding time to my my roots. Well, we're doing really good. Another 3,000 increase, raise, $5,000 rewards. Still not making as much money as the first year, but three years in, I think it's going to start being steady, steadily improving now. Now that we got through that first little bit. Um, I think that's about it for this episode, though. I've connected most of southeastern UK, at the very least. The competition is building like crazy. Um, is that a... Um, that's a medium-sized station. Still, they are, they are doing quite well for themselves. So we're going to have to, you know, step it up a notch. Um... Hmm, yeah, because I'd like to get up to Liverpool and Manchester myself. Hmm. Well, I'll probably connect up Ipswich, Norwich, maybe head on west a little bit down here to Dorchester. Maybe even do a Portsmouth to Dorchester. That's not too bad. If I can turn the track here in time, should be too easy. Should be fairly easy. But yeah, the AI is actually, like, they're doing really good. So we'll have to deal with that soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.